He lets you learn magic skills more quickly. Let's see where we are, what we were doing. Still got my Dark Brotherhood kit on, and I think we had resolved that we were going to pick up a, a bit of the main quest and go and do the Thalmor embassy. Uh, Lydia's gone. Shadowmere's gone. We don't know where they are. Uh, so hopefully they'll show up at some point. I was hoping that by reloading the save, uh, they would just arrive, but it is not to be. So quick audio check, chickity check, make sure everything's up and running. Uh, hello, how are you? How are you doing? Let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Okay, one, two. Fantastic. All right, good. So, without further ado, let's get the quest log up. And so this Dark Brotherhood Forever is just a kind of thing now where uh, we get we can get infinite Dark Brotherhood quests. So with that in mind, we'll be kind of ignoring that now. Uh, so I think we had decided to take on diplomatic immunity. Hello, Fenris. How are you doing? First in the chat. OK, so what's the setup here? It seems that things are worse than even Delphine thought. Dragons aren't just coming back to life. They're being resurrected by other dragons. Delphine suspects that the Thalmor might be bringing dragons back for some sinister purpose. She's going to talk to her contacts about how we can infiltrate the Thalmor embassy. So we're going to go meet Delphine in Riverwood. If you're in America... Lydia! She's back! Yay! Where did you go? Where did you go? What did you get up to? Here. Uh, I think we should give her a good sword or something as a reward. Maybe I'll make one. Or if I get another magic one. Because I want to keep Dawnbreaker and I want to keep my ebony sword. So let's go fast travel over to Riverwood and talk to Delphine. Fenris, I'm glad that you're good. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the celebratory period where nobody has to go to work or college or whatever it is, whatever it is you do. How is your Dungeons and Dragons life going? What's happened? What's happened in your most recent game? I'm interested to hear. Starship, hello. Solitude Guard, you're back. <laughs> Solitude Guard is wondering where I'd been. Uh, trying a new schedule. Um, Sunday I couldn't do because of family commitments. Uh, and I've decided I'm going to do Monday evening, Thursday evening uh, for Skyrim and sort of see how I get on with that. Uh, the Tuesday, the Monday and Tuesday back to back were kind of weird, especially doing in the evening. Right, we're going to go talk to Delphine. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. All right, Delphine, come on. You'll all be pleased to know that we've got Lydia back. She's here. She did we go got missing. Some food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Yeah, Solitude, I'm not sure if you were around for the last stream. Oh, let's have that. But uh, we completed the Dark Brotherhood quests, and now we've got, like, the infinite quests from them. Um, everyone got trashed. We went and sorted it out. I think if I ever do another playthrough, I'll just kill What's-Her-Face before I join. Going around murdering people for the sake of it isn't, wasn't really my bag. Uh, I got wind shear solitude, yeah, but I'm not using it because it's not as powerful as the stuff I've got. But I might give it to Lydia. <gasps> Could give it to Lydia. That'd be good. Okay, why not just fight our way in? So Delphine? that's your plan, huh? Even if you could survive, by the time you got inside, whatever documents they had would be long gone. We're there for information, remember? Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. My way is better. Oh, so Solitude and uh, Fenris are telling me that uh, Windshear will knock people down. Oh, that is good. Will it still knock people down if I give it to Lydia? It's help me stun lock them. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate? Oh, and it was funny, Solitude. We turned the Emperor into a bunny, into a hare with the Wabberjack. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellen Wynn regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. 
His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Elenwyn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Uh, so let's, I'm going to ask the questions, because I, I, although I have done this quest, I can't remember anything about it. I think Windshear is in my chest in uh, Whiterun, so I might go grab it. Uh, who's this contact of yours? Are you sure I can trust him? Don't worry him? about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. You'd think the Thalmor would vet their staff a bit better. Solitude says, heads up, if you're planning on doing this quest stealthily, it can be tricky. Let me handle that. Uh, you'll have I'm going to give it a go. Don't worry. And if not, I'll just... Act the part of a Thalmor toady, I'll just kill everyone. Cards. Once I'm inside the embassy, then That's what? when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. So, Solitude, what I do have, if we have a quick look in my inventory, is I have all my sneaky stuff on. So I've got my... Uh, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm not sure where I put it, but I've got something that increases my sneaking. Maybe I put it in the chest. But I've got all my shrouded stuff. The Nightweaver's Band. Here we go, yeah. Sneaking is 10% better. Destruction spells cost 10% less to cast. I think we'll wear an amulet of Talos here. Uh, and then my shrouded armor, um, which I'm going to try sneaking. If it all goes south, I'll just put my heavy armor on. No issues. I think what? next we'll go. Something you're still confused about? Lydia, excuse me, please. Lydia, Lydia. What? Move. Something Bro. you're still confused about? Sis, come on. Right, let's run run around here. Oh, I didn't want that dagger. Right, Lydia, come over here. There we go. What? Something you're well, still confused about? Yes, I'm confused as why you're stopping in the doorway. Move. Thank you. Pour me an ale. Coming right up. Right. Let's go to Whiterun. Let's have a look and see where I put that sword. In my house somewhere, and then let's uh, try and sneak into this. There's a nip in the air. Easy. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. I'm very much feeling the fact that I haven't played this for a week. I've like weirdly forgotten a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's have a look in this chest. Uh, wind shear would be at the bottom. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. No. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Right, okay. I'm, I'm carrying it. Never mind. Uh, let's, uh, for now, I'm going to give it to Lydia. And, and it may just be... It may just be that Still I end here. up taking it myself. Sworn to carry your burdens. You might be sworn to carry my burden, burdens, but you're about to get a sick sword. If it isn't doing the knockdown thing, then we'll uh, we'll take it off her. Because uh, I like my ebony sword quite a bit. You lead, I'll follow. All right, lids, let's rock. Solitude, are you going to go play some Skyrim tonight? Um, don't worry if you can't stream. To be honest, streaming games... I mean, I don't know if you're a streamer anyway, but streaming games and playing them is very, very different. I'm currently replaying um, They Are Billions on the PC, uh, which is the game that started my channel. 
and honestly it's such a different experience just playing it rather than streaming it um it's like two different hobbies you know it's like two entirely different hobbies you enjoy it in completely different ways but i wouldn't mind watching you stream because because well we all just know each other now and my my little community guys could go watch you as well fast travel to solitude here we go Yeah, Solitude, uh, I don't know if you're in my Discord. I, if you are, I haven't matched your username to the username's in there, but um, uh, a couple of people stream into like into my Discord, and I like dropping in and having a chat. I don't do it very often, because mostly my streaming time is just YouTube streaming. I've got a little work if you're right, where's this? Ah, in here, okay. The Winking Skeever. Who are you then? Hmm? Malborn. Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. If you do exclamation mark Discord, it should come up in here. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very Maybe not. seriously. I thought I set up stream cord to do it, but uh, stream elements to do it. I'll make sure to working. get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, what kinds of things should I bring? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who... If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. I'm ready. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. All right, mate. Well, to kill quickly, I've got my ebony sword, which is just as good as any dagger. Power attacks do one-hit kills pretty easily. Fenris is saying dagger and bow. I'm not good with the bow. I'm not good with the bow, Fenris. I always miss. I'm going to go ebony sword, and if it goes horribly wrong, we'll reload the safe and I'll try the bow. Your job is to get into. I can the almost guarantee it will go horribly wrong. You hear the news? The Emperor has been murdered, right here in Skyrim, by the gods. If the Dark Brotherhood can do that, nobody's safe. Yeah, it was your job to stop me, mate, and you didn't, so... Is this Malborn? Malborn, I'm on my way to meet you. Right, I'm meeting Delphine. King says, uh, I'm discreet, as discreet as an orc with a fork. You know it, man. Welcome. Nice to see you again. Thanks for joining the live stream in the chat. I was asking Fenris about his D&D &D game because I happen to know that it involves dinosaurs. But uh, perhaps he's busy playing Skyrim himself. Who knows? There you are, looking Have suspicious you as ever. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Oh, yeah. I didn't give Malborn any Disarm. stuff. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Oh, uh, where's Malborn? Oh no, I haven't given him any stuff. <laughs> Quick, uh, maybe I can find him walking down this road. You probably want someone else. I'm just a stable. Malborn. Oh dear. Okay, we're going to be doing this with no equipment. I did wonder when that menu thing picked up, but it uh, popped up. But it looked like it said you've given you've given him the stuff. I was like, oh, is it like a basket of supplies, like when you go up to High Hrothgar? Uh, okay, this is fine. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. 
What should I put on then? My Emperor's clothes? Uh, Emperor's robes. Fine boots. Party boots. That's even better. Uh... That should do it. What about this? You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Oh, do I have to unequip my weapons, maybe? Um, okay. What about now? You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Dude, Embassy what's your problem? I look like sick. That. You can't go to a party. Oh, maybe I should change the hood. The hood. Uh, where's my hat? Do I have a fine hat? The Thalmor Embassy dressed like now? that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy. All right, so the chat is shouting at me. Equip party clothes, not maybe not the Emperor's clothes. Fine. Like fine, fine, that. fine. You can't go to. Oh man. We're off to a good start, as usual. Uh, maybe take these off. Uh, where's my sneaking thing? That Party should, that should be fine. I guess that will have there to we do. go. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Hello, CMF. Welcome to the chat. Got D&D &D in 15 minutes, but you wanted to say hi. Well, thanks very much. Good to see you. What are you playing in your D&D &D game? Uh, I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry. It will all be waiting yes, for you. Yes, keep my equipment that is worth, like, Just literally sure millions. Just get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. All right. So we're going to go sneak around. We've got no weapons. Didn't give any kit to that guy. So Fenris, you're where you're watching a um, you're playing a jazz demon, or you're running a jazz demon game. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so not to miss out. CMS is the is the DM in the game. So I'm going to need my equipment. Apparently, this lock can be picked. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Here you go. Thank you, Rest. sir. Go now, right in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc. etc. See, Matt says it's funny that Delphine has so many opinions about your clothes, but doesn't care that you're wearing an amulet of Talos. I know, right? Yes. Hello, Cartman. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you. Cartman says, what's a DM? A dominatrix? Yes, CMF is uh, our resident German. It would be a dominator, Welcome. not dominatrix. I don't believe male. we've met. I am Ellen Wynn, the Thalmor resident dungeon master. Skyrim. <laughs> and you are? Uh, my name is Nothpike. You're Ellen Wynn? I've heard so much about you. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Let's keep going. Let's get away from her. What can I get for you? Yes, there's a war going on. So I need to talk to Nothpike. Uh, no, I'm Nothpike. I need to talk to Malborn. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Okay. Uh, so, right, then. we're gonna be careful of Maven, says Solitude, and talk to the drunk. Okay, who's the drunk? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink? This looks, what his face looks pretty messed up, actually. How would he be allowed into, like, a high elf party? Uh, you look thirsty. My friend, you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst that cannot be slaked. And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> must have told him to cut me up. Everything is bitch. 
Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. Uh, what brings you to this you party, drunk? You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question in one of Ellen Wynn's little soirees. Solitude, this is one of the quests I've actually done before, like back when Skyrim first came out, I remember doing this quest. And I just kept messing it up, charging in, all guns blazing. One of the reasons I'm doing this now is because it's straight off the back of the Dark Brotherhood, so I have, I'm about as stealthy as I'm ever going to get. After this, I intend to stealth nothing. I'd like a drink. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Solitude says uh, it's it's fun making the prison a glitch in the basement. Well, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give this guy a drink. But I don't what remember this. So I just to like to get a drink. here. I bought ah, you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. Lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, there is something you could do for me. Just be sick on the floor, maybe. Roll around. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Not Lydia, I hear. Stay on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for just a few minutes. This elf just doesn't care that I'm just setting Is this up right next all? to her. My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat... Solitude says, um, if I have ice magic, icy spear, Stand back and uh, my he gets stuck in the wall and spins. Uh, I don't have that, unfortunately. I've just got flame atronax. This guy's attention, just going to start everyone. pooping, says Cartman. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn. Come on, crouch down. Nice. Right, let's go, let's go. Before anyone notices us. Okay, okay. That someone would actually want her in their bed. Although most of you are we made it. in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Okay. I want all the ingredients for making food. So far so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Dude, I didn't bring any gear. Like at all. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? Yeah. I'm a guest. You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zabani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Let me through the door, Malborn. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. <laughs> King says that, believe it or not, he once had a dream that Peter Griffin was the one infiltrating the Thalmor Embassy. How did that go? Yep, search chest. Yeah, here's all our stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Yeah, I've done it. Is there any weaponry here? Battle. need to lock the door behind you. Or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Good Did luck. you see those robes You're on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? Okay, we're in. So let's drop a quick save here, because I foresee no, this going badly wrong. Just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. How more robes? Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place. We're well, definitely going to wear those uh, apparel. Dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll Sweet. get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! Like so there's no weapons, says Solitude, and about seven Falmore armed guards. Well, I only have to kill one of them, and then I can take their weapons. So it looks like I got to get through here. We better get back to our uh, map. Okay, so where's this door? So it's through. Is it through this doorway or is it? Yeah, it looks like it. There is. Looks like it is. Right, are you coming through this door, bud? One guy here. It's 
sneaky, sneaky. Never should have Fuck come. enough. Oh, pardon my language, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Uh, conjure Flame at Trinac. Uh, and then we'll go with... Ustwada. And then we'll go with... Uh, we can do this, we can do this. Uh, so, potions... I don't have any potions. Oh no! <laughs> of course, I don't have any potions. Oh, he's got a flame at Uh Let's, uh... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go with beast form in a minute. Let's just see how much we can heal up by. Yeah. Well, I can hear noises in there. <laughs> uh, healing, okay, and then I think it's time for beast form. Let's see how we get on here. Don't kill me while I'm transforming you, loser. Oh, they're running away, that's good. Can I get can I heal up by eating him? Feed. Okay, I'm getting set on fire by the action. The action act's gone. Okay. Now if I die as the werewolf, so I just go back to human form, back to orc form. I can just sit here while my magicka recharges and then I'll just do the Ah oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. No, they're high mages just in from Eleanor. I guess herself is finally getting worried. We'll go about with a slightly attacks. more aggressive what? approach this time. Ah good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. Did you hear something over here? Close door. Now. Beast form. We'll let the Atronach do its business. Keep this door closed. Turn into a werewolf. Keep roaring. Kill one of them. I think I just have to keep killing, like, instead of hanging back. I didn't actually know that I thought I would go back to elf form. Right, kill the wizard. Want the wizard. This animation is not really helping. Someone else is around here somewhere. I can see red dots. Okay. Okay, let's go feed because I want those perk points. Okay, I can hear talking, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they're talking, but I don't know where they are. Let's feed on these people. I think the game has glitched in my favour here. Solitude says that he did this once with only telekinesis, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, perks to increase. Uh, what's the best perk here, really? That's the thing. Totem of Ice Brothers... I quite like the idea of catching a bunch of ice wolves, that'd be good. Animal Vigor. Can't 
can't seem to get that one. All right, I'm gonna go with Animal Bigger. Uh, Totem of the Ice Brothers, even. There we go. Okay. So if I leave Wolf Form, um, they'll stop being angry at me, basically. Oh, and I want to go back and get their weapons when my Wolf Form runs out, yeah. Alright, well that went well. Let's quick save here. Oh, auto save, that's fine. Alright, I see a red dot. Wizard there with an Atronach. Down you go, son. As far as they know, there's just a werewolf hanging around. He heals well. Bloodlust extended. Right, anyone actually out here? Nope. Yep. Right. Red dot. Hey, you. Well, so far this stealth mission's going great. Don't you think? Oh, he seems to be like maybe immune to the fear effect of the roar. Also, I didn't see any ice wolves get summoned. Kind of odd. Anyone down here? Nope. Okay, let's uh, forge ahead. Okay, I cannot look in this chest, I don't think, so I have to just pull a lot. Back. I kind of want to get some weaponry, so... Is that a soldier there? I think uh, maybe I extended my bloodlust a bit too long. <laughs> Go on the menu and click Nessie form. Werewolf Totem of Brotherhood calls werewolves. Get that. Uh, okay, go on then you. All it's doing is bringing me up this. Go on menu and click beast form. Uh, I, I can't look. I can only go to this. You press the menu and it just brings up this. It's okay. I'll just run around roaring for a bit. Maybe knock over some food. No, I'm pressing up on the D-pad to bring up favourite solitude and it's not... Here, listen to me clicking. And it's not. It's not doing it. Maybe if I go outside again and come back in, it'll allow me to do the reset thing. Aha! Hello. Right, I won't feed this time because I think that extends the bloodlust, doesn't it? Lydia is too powerful for Howl of Terror. Oh, I should think so too. I guess she's out the front. I think Lydia's fighting people out the front, maybe. Okay. So Solitude's telling me usually waiting works, but it's not doing it because I'm in a quest location. So 
So have I soft locked myself essentially? Do I have to restart the quest? Would be. Unfortunate. Can I just jump over here? Get out. Oh, Fenris is telling me to go back to the Malborn save and get my weapons. Maybe I'll have to. Ah, here we go. Problem solved. Nice one. I was prepared to do that, uh, to go back to an earlier save. But actually, all I needed to do was go back to a save before I turned to the werewolf. Kill one guy. And then... Uh, one guy or girl. Uh, and then uh, get kitted out with their stuff, which is what I'm just about to do. Hello, Sam. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing? How was your phone call? Uh, so let's uh, equip that. Equip that. Equip that. Equip that. We'll take the... I'll take that too. Uh, this, this, this. Weapons. The dagger's pretty rubbish, so let's see if this person's got a sword. Looks like no one's got swords, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, anyone want to fill in, Sam, on what, what I've done and what I've done wrong? Let's go in here. Let's open that chest. Dragon Investigation. Let's read that. First Emissary Elenwen. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we've brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I've authorised intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. Uh, I'll inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I've placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Okay, so we're going to go rescue this prisoner. Interrogation key. Dossier Delphine. Dossier, Ulfric Stormcloak. Let's, quick, let's actually read those. That would be interesting. Uh, high priority capture. And Ulfric. Dormant. Asset, uncooperative, dormant. <gasps> Wait, what? Ulfric Stormcloak is an asset to the Thalmor. No. But he's all like... Skyrim for the Nords and other racist stuff. Okay, so the chat have uh, filled filled in Sam on uh, how I approached this quest. Completely forgot to give thingy with Bob my uh, my equipment. Let's put my weapons away. Guys down here, from the looks of things. Okay. Never should have come. Thalmor <laughs> soldier, I want your weapon. My action should help. Huzzah! Okay, let's uh, have that. Where'd you go? Where'd your body go? Bruh. Oh, there we go. Seal war axe or mace? We'll go with the mace. Also want that gold. There we go. Search chest. Esburn. Okay. Status fugitive. Captive only. Highest priority. Emissary level approval. Okay. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. So we're going to have to get to Riften and warn Esburn. 
So Solitude says, remember, the Thalma are incredibly manipulative and seek to control Skyrim and its people. Their ideology is essentially imperialism. <laughs> and they Listen smell. Up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silence, I'm dead traitor. already. Move slowly. Oh, there you are, up there, then. Summon another Atronach. Apparently they have my accomplice. They better not have Lydia. Let's get over there. Can I... can I get... Hey! Come here! Hey! Oh. Okay, that didn't that didn't work too well. I'm on fire now. Let's have this. Oh, I can just go round. Can I go round? I actually thought this was Lydia. They've got the same helmets. Gold trapdoor key. There we go. Unlock reeking cave. Oh, so the chat is telling me that it got Malborn? Whoops. Sorry, Malborn. I actually didn't realise. I thought when they said accomplice, I thought they meant um, Delphine. And I was like, well, Delphine's annoying, so not too bothered. <laughs> Carton says his guy's called Smasher. With an A instead of an ER. Oh, Frost Troll, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. I think I could beat a Frost Troll. I did it once before, but... Okay, let's go talk to Delphine. Over here, Riverwood. Josh says, kill it, kill it. Uh, Solitude says, apparently Delphine comments Watch on the, the fact that Malborn up. dies. What could I have done there? Could I have just waited and like let them take me prisoner or something? After having done the... Yeah, after having done the Dark Brotherhood quest, I feel like maybe I'm desensitised to like hostage violence or something. But I, I honestly just didn't money, clock what was happening. Oh, so I could have just taken them out with a bow. I couldn't even get over there, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're disappointed Made in me, chat. alive, at least. Your gear's safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? The Thalmor know nothing about dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. They're looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esburn? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So Solitude is saying that uh, it's time to head to the Ratway. Is that where Esburn lives? So I've already been down there. I'm a member of the Thieves' Guild now. They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Ask around the Ragged Flagon in the Ratway. It's at least a good starting point. Oh, and when you find Esburn, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. 
Diplomatic immunity. Okay, I've got a trophy for that. Uh, complete diplomatic immunity. All right. <laughs> it's because it's a story quest. So who are the Falmor? Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? Uh, no, give me the long version. They're the rulers of the Aldmeri Dominion, what used to be the Imperial Provinces of Somerset Isle and Valenwood. The Thalmor take the arrogance of High Elves to the extreme. They believe they are the rightful rulers of all of Tamar. So the Thalmor are like posh For extremists, a basically. Or more, the Thalmor had been picking away at the Empire. Valenwood was the first, then the province of elsewhere. But even the Blades didn't see the Great War coming. We underestimated the Thalmor. And they destroyed us. Uh, what happened to the blades? Why are you on the, the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find. Solitude said the Thalmor are uh, Skyrim Tories. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, <laughs> they've been able to operate. For anyone who's watching in America or Canada, um, Tories are like uh, our political party that are a bit like your Republicans. Uh, so why are they hunting you? When I was young, our leaders became obsessed with the Thalmor threat. They believed that if and when we found a Dragonborn, we would need to protect him against the Thalmor. Turns out we fatally underestimated the Thalmor. They smashed us with ease during the Great War. I was one of the few who escaped. For a long time, all I cared about was staying alive and taking revenge on the Thalmor when I could. But then the dragons returned, and I remembered that the Blades used to be dragon slayers and that we were sworn to protect the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer of all. Man, Alduin's going to regret so hard um, stopping our head getting cut off. So what's so important about me being Dragonborn? The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Cool, Delphine. Can I please have my armor back? What do you need, Dragonborn? I, I need all my stuff. Have I got it back? Nope. Do you need something? Yeah, I need all my stuff. Aha, right, cool. Okay. Equip. Uh, well, this is literally all my tables. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Gary, too much to be able to run. Here, Lydia, I need you to carry some Still stuff. Here. I am at your command. Uh, misc. Yeah, here we go, look. Cool. Let's uh, go back to the house, maybe, and uh, take all these. Just drop some stuff off there. And then we'll do the next quest. Nick all this stuff. Turn it into potions. Right, invisibility is a priority, so we'll do that. Uh, resist frost, uh, resist poison, resist magic. Weakness to magic I'm not too bothered about, actually. Uh, damage magicka could be good. Ooh. Very good, right. Let's go and... Go back to the house. Also want to use my ebony sword instead of that weird mace. I think I was over the limit because I've got uh, I had those dragon bones, but also I've got like some more armor. Need something. So maybe where is he? The blacksmith guy will buy the armor off me. 
Hello. Whatever you need. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Sell. Sick. All right, good. Uh, let's go back to White Run, and we'll sell those dragon bones. Storm cloaks, Imperials, dragons. It no matter to me what I kill. Let them come. Okay, so I'm just uh, reading the chat. You're telling me to go to White Run, where I am, and. He's only to go to White Run or Riften and buy some drinks from the guy in the pub. I will do that. I'm just going to sell a bunch of stuff to Bellathor and use up his I'm here to buy food, his money allowance, and then yeah, we'll go straight Take to Riften after around. that. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. Everything's for trinkets, odds and ends. Okay. Sort of okay. Uh, here we go, Misk. Oh, uh, Lydia's got them, that's why. Lydia, give me my dragon bones Still back. Here. As my thane, Oops. how can I serve you, my thane? Well, give me my dragon bones back, first of all. Do I need to give her more arrows? Because she only seems to have five. You lead, I'll follow. I'd even buy. Take a look. Okay. Misk. Don't want that. Oh no. Oh no, I just bought a broom. <laughs> right, sell. Uh, drag a bone. Goblet, don't want that. Uh... Okay, good. We pretty much used up the stuff. You the best deals or die trying. Let's go. Magic, shouts, uh, whirlwind sprint. Let's sell a bunch of potions and then we'll go and sell off this other armor Let to. Adrienne. So Solitude says I need to get uh, Conjure Bound Bow and Bound Sword Tomes. They're super helpful. Would that have been useful in the Pardon Thalmor me. Embassy? Because they are Conjuration and I am balance. using the Atronach. I want to get Frost Atronach, that. actually. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes, I'm going to sell you a bunch of potions right now. I don't want. Uh, what should I get rid of? Conjuration... Let's just use up all her money on stuff that is crap. So much resist frost, look. Uh, these are all good. Blocking absorbs more damage. I probably won't remember to use that. That's actually pretty good. I think we'll get rid of these Conjurer's Potions. Ice Wraith Essence. Probably forget to use that. Forget to use that. These damage health ones are trash, to be honest. Okay, good. Right, that's used up. Let's Come go sell to need a remedy. Uh, Adrian. <laughs> Fenris says the broom will help me sweep the floor with my enemies. So Solitude saying that Conjuration could be underrated is actually really fun, and I kind of agree. I, I like the Atronach. Um, I haven't really looked into the level at which I can get the Frost Atronach. I know it's a melee one, which can be a problem because it, it's got to run up. But if I can get that and the thing where you can come and uh, or you can summon two, I could get the Flame Atronach and the Frost and just kind of come at them from both angles, which would be good. I just haven't really spent time looking into when to get the spells or anything like that. I don't claim to be the 
Let's sell Lydia's armor. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Uh, steel dagger, steel sword. Now, should I keep the imperial armor that I got given? I feel like I should. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Yep. Let's put that Imperial Armour in the chest in case we need it. And I'll also put my sneaky stuff in there as well. <laughs> Fenris says, what do you call a dude who summons undead giraffes? Go on. Emperor's robes. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, let's dump Lydia's armor in there. Misc stuff should I dump in there? Diamonds, emeralds, rubies. I got them all. Sapphires. I'll keep one torch. Books. Tons of books. Alright, we're good to go. Let's have a look at our carry weight. Yeah, 257, that'll do. And I've got my sword all charged up. Fenris says, a neck romancer is the answer to the, what is it? <laughs> the giraffe question. The question that nobody needed to know the answer to. Very good. <laughs> Hail, companion. Someone in the chat was asking who Talian Dayath is. Talian Dayath is uh, a member of our community who is a YouTuber who does like lots of strategy games, resource management games, very prolific output, pretty much a video a day. Um, Extremely good audio and an all-round friendly fellow. You often see him in this chat uh, if he's not either working or at the gym. Okay, so we're going to go to the next location on the quest line, which is Riften. Search the Ratway for Esburn. Talk to me after everything you've done. Stop, thief! Hey, I'm getting out of there. Oh, who are you shooting at? Should I help? Uh, they seem to have it. They seem to have it covered. I, I, I won't bother. Right, let's get down here. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought that attacking that thief would end up bad because I'm still midway through the thieves guild quest line. Like there was like that's like the worst thief ever. He just was just running around in the middle of the town with clearly wearing what is the uh, thief stuff. Okay. Veckel the man. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? I am. Like know of an old guy me. hiding out in Riften, name of Esburn? Lot of people looking for him. Don't know his name, but he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed you just up told in me. the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, 
He must really uh, evil Satan baby mountain. from hell. Hello, Costas. How are you doing? How's the weather in Bulgaria right now? That old guy hiding out down here. Where does he live? He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Be careful. You're not okay. the only one looking for him. Who else is looking for Esbern? Dangerous looking elves who didn't give their names. Draw your own conclusions. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Costas, yeah, you, you, you pop back in whenever you're ready. You're always welcome. Uh, I've been getting lots and lots of advice from everyone uh, and, and, and failing to execute most of it. You missed the bit where I snuck into the Thalmor Embassy without any of my equipment and had to just go full werewolf to, to deal with it. Uh, where's my flame after now? Sometimes it spells... I think it's just the timing of me pressing the button. They don't quite execute. Okay. Off we go. My ebony sword has got a damage stamina en enchantment, which is awesome. Stun you. Point. Point. Although it does chug through soul gems, like, pretty much. This guy's still alive. Oh, it's Lydia. Honk. Did he go down? I don't see the body. Never mind. Right, I guess we just follow where the enemies are. And work our way through it. So I'm wondering if Esbern then is like a member of the Blades as well. That would seem to make sense if he knows Delphine. It's an old work colleague. Okay, interesting. Uh, maybe down here? Esbern is indeed a Blade, says Solitude. Here we go. Ink pot, okay. stone, bucket. Hefford the death. Is there someone in here? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Is there someone I can save here? Because you said about there being a cannibal? Open door. Who are you? He explained it all to me, before when I still understood. I don't remember, but I still know. Huh? Are you a cannibal? Okay, no. <laughs> Solitude says that guy is a cannibal. Never find me. Apparently I'm never going to find that lady. Oh, there she is. Hefid the Death. Oh, let's yeah, let's not have the sword out. You can't talk to her because she's deaf. Fair enough. So this is the cannibal. Their fires lit up the night. Who steal his stuff? Lake Rumere, like stars come to earth. It was beautiful, really. It's hopeless. He told me. He's right, you know. Uh, are you going to confess to being a... Even when they were dead. But their Can blood I... was red. I knew it would be. Oh. There's another guy wearing a chef's hat. Uh, I didn't see that guy. This guy? I'm going to eat you uh, tonight, my darling. Oh. Uh, Alright, bro. Cheeky. Victory Lydia's got you, mate. Look, submit. she's just... I had no part in that. Thanks, Lids. Uh, let's take the chef's hat. Yeah, all this stuff's bad. There we go. I regretted not keeping the chef's hat from the assassination mission, so I've now got one. Excuse me, Lydia. Excuse me. Come over here. 
There we go. All right, let's go and talk to this guy then, who I presume is through this door. Go away. Esben, open the door. I'm a friend. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esben. I don't know what you're talking about. The Fowl have found you. You need to get out of here. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you're with the Thalmor. And this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? Uh, Delphine said to remember the 30th of Frostfall. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive. You'd better come in then and tell me how you found me and what you want. This will just take a moment. This one always. Uh, there we go. Only a couple more. Why are you shouting this up the night? All across Lake Rumere, like stars come to earth. Why? There we are. Why, Lydia? Why are you shooting her? That's better. Now we can talk. All right. So my companion is outside, just killing an innocent death woman. Years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. What do you mean it's hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Uh... They're talking about the literal end of the world? Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. It's not hopeless, Esbern. I'm the drag. Oh, it just says I'm dragonborn. I'm Dragonborn. You are? Can it really be true? Dragon. I mean, I can Fusro die you if you want. Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Yes, I'm going to steal your fish. Just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll and just, like, all your food. No. Lost Legends of Skyrim. Now, people in the chat, do you want me to read the books, or are you happy for me to just kind of burn through? Because I pick them up to see if I'm going to learn a skill or something, but I don't mind stopping and reading through the whole lot. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Solitude is horrified that I stole the man's salmon. I'm guessing that we don't come back here, so... One moment. I know time is of the essence, but plus... Watcher of Stones... Don't learn anything from that. Leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, I guess that's good enough. Let's Real be leaks. off. I, I know, I know. I'm hurrying. Okay, very nice. We've absolutely pilfered this guy's stuff. Oh, this is the rise and fall of the blades again. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything here that's like particularly useful. Troll slain, maybe? Nope. Can I use the cooking pot? Let's see what we can make. Food. Uh, so, as of yet, not a huge amount. Salmon steak. Okay, let's make the salmon steaks. Yes. Uh, let's make this soup at the top. 
Because I want this because it's basically like uh, the soup is kind of like having a healing potion. And you never know when that might come in useful. Cool. It's not as not as prolific as I'd hoped. Okay, this Someone woman has now died. Burned book. A garnet. Just wait there while I unlock this door, please. I'll let you out and then we can have a fight. There we go. Too keen to fight. There we go. Alright, let's uh, get Atronach Lady on the case. Go ham. I think this is just one foul left on his own. That was totally the wrong shout. Got anything good? Nope. All right, Esbern, let's uh, get Getty out of here. So it's obviously says that Esben can summon a storm thing. What, like a storm Atronach? That, because that would be pretty cool. Okay, there's fire on the ground here. Oh, long ground. Lydia. I think Lydia's got that fight covered. Let's just, uh... Let's just trash everyone in our way. Cartman coming in with the insightful comments there. The winking skeever? More like the winking beaver. Very good. Top marks. I hope I don't lose Lydia again. That would be very upsetting. Oh, hello. Take your necklace. I don't know who you are, but... I'll put my weapons away before I go back to the Ragged Flagon, I think. Rosen, you says, have you got the drinks? No, I forgot to go. I forgot to go in there, but I'll go in there now. Hello, right. Vex. Need a few spare septums? I got the cure I'm going to come right back here. and do the uh, the quests for the Thieves Guild at some point. Actually, I'll dig out my sneaking clothes if I do. Right, so let's go to the Riften Pub. Get those drinks that Fenris is talking about. Solitude. I already have the gloves of the pugilist, and I disenchanted them. Actually, yeah, I did it on a uh, on one when you must have not been here, or maybe you were here and just not paying attention. Who knows? Maybe you were busy with other much more important things. Although I can't imagine what would be more important than this, honestly. So where's this flipping pub? Uh, it's 5am, so it's probably not open. What's it called? Uh, the Bee and Barb. I've been in there, I just can't remember where the door is. Is it this? It's up. Is it, is it this? Oh, that's the temple. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll? 
<laughs> the guys in the chat are giving me directions. Excuse me. Who are you? But we're on like a 10 second lag, so I... <laughs> when you say where you just were. Shavari's note. I have good reason to believe the target will be coming to Riften in the next few days. Discretion is preferred, but elimination of the target is the highest priority. The usual restrictions on exposure are lifted. You'll be reassigned outside of Skyrim if necessary without penalty. Do not fail me. E. Who is E? I'm oh, going to take that note. Might come in useful. Okay. So. From the Temple of Mara here, where do I need to go to I have get to in wonder. the pub? What does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? What do you need? Can the Thun be taught like any skill? Scorched Hammer. Ah, here's the pub. Cool, 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 cool. No, this is the Blackbriar Meadery. Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? I'm the... You look like you could use a drink. Literally just looking Please. for the other pub. Do this. The bee bar. All right. Right. What drinks do I need to get? Just the drinks from Kirava. Oh, it's you again. What in blazes do you take a look? What have you got for sale? Food. Surly Brothers Wine. Restores 15 stamina. Stamina regenerates. Hunting Brew Mead. Okay, not Kirava. She's just there. selling standard drinks. Right. Other one. My skill That's Mercurio. I know matched. he's a companion, so I'm not going to grab him just yet. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. So it's the male Argonian I've got to speak to, is it? He might be asleep. Because we spoke to him earlier, we had to intimidate him, if you remember, when we were doing uh, the actual Thief, Thief's Guild uh, questline. So I do know of him. Not there. Go on then, deliver my Ooh, message to Sidi. Riften. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Maybe he's up here. Not you. Nope. Nope. Here he is. Hello. Oh, depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Not even remotely annoyed that I've. Uh... Right, what foods you got? Velvet Le Chant restores 25 stamina. White Gold Tower restores stamina. Cliff Racer. Okay, it's not these, is it? Welcome. You mentioned you serve special drinks. Three, in, three fact, in fact, they're, they're my, my own, own recipe. recipe. First is the Velvet Le Chance, which is a mixture. Second, we have the White. Last and only for the bravest of souls. We all right. Well, let's depends. just buy all of those. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Uh, how much are they? Yeah, they're not much. I got loads of gold. Uh, recharging stamina is pretty useful. Just Do they have like here. extra special effects apart from that, or? Dream of Sovereign God. I think I've read that. Okay, cool. I've got the drinks. Super important. Okay, none of those. Let's get out of here and go and do some questing. Right, where next? over here. Yeah, those are cheap for stamina potions. Um, I've got tons of stamina potions, but still pretty useful to have them. Do 
to the planet. Yeah, here we go. Bike cabbages. Anyone been playing Fortnite? I just unlocked the Cora skin. I've been playing it with my uh, with my youngest son. Um, and uh, in a few days' time, they're releasing what I think will be like Ang, Sokka, and Katara as well, which is going to be super fun. What do you need, Dragonborn? Well, I need you to Delphine. do the quest stuff. Oh, okay. Let's watch these guys talk. It's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. <laughs> Orgnar's like, my boss is well sketch. Okay. Um, I just need to take a quick comfort break. I'll be gone uh, a minute or so. Um, I don't have a level up on the cards, but we can just have a look at my... Wee! I think here. Uh, yeah, I'll be back shortly. And we're back. Okay. Solitude, you spent a lot of money on Fortnite. I have um, two boys. <laughs> one uh, one nearly 20 and one who is 12, nearly 13. So I've spent a lot of money on that game too. I enjoy it. I'm not very good at it, obviously, but you know. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragonborn, indeed. Yes, oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment, oh. Dude. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show Where you. were you hiding that, book? Right here. <laughs> Skyhaven Temple. Oh, around oh, one of the main button. Kabiri military camps in reach. Annals of the Dragon Guard, 2800 to 2819. Okay. The Blood Seal was consecrated in the presence of all the Dragon Guard of Skyrim, a great honour which few temples can boast. During their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall, to sit down and stone all their accumulated dragon lords hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event 
Despite the far-reaching fame of Alduin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. You look like a Draugr. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I've found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. I've got your back. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? I am sworn to carry your burdens. She has got wind shear. Well, okay. Yes. Let's get going then. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Carthspire in the Carth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Should I travel with them or just meet them there? Um, because if I just meet them there, then I can go off and do some other stuff. But I'm kind of inclined to follow this through for a little while. Uh, Homer Simpson, welcome to the chat. If she's sworn to carry your burdens, does that mean she... I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> Gross. Um, so Solitude says he spent well over £3,000 on Fortnite, which is... Uh, I understand why you don't play it anymore. Mm, that's a lot of money. <laughs> My God. But if you're having fun, and it was over a long period of time, I guess that's fine. Um, Akavir, when the Bethesda devs wanted you to add some, wanted to add some samurai stuff. Oh, so was there going to be samurai stuff in Skyrim? Is that... Or is there... Um, okay, right. Yeah, should I should I go with these people or not? Uh, what's the best way to get there? In Riverwood, the road south through Fall Creek is the most direct route. Or you could catch the carriage from White Run to Markarth and then approach from the west. Either way, the reach is wild country these days. The Forsworn are everywhere. Best be careful. Okay, uh, I'm going to meet them there. Your call might be safer to travel separately. Attract and, and I might uh, just have a quick look at my side quest and see if there's I'll anything there interesting in to do. Piece. We'll wait for you near Carthspire. Good luck. I've reached that point again where I sort of need a bit of guidance from you guys on what to do next because I, I, I get a bit overwhelmed with all the quest options. So Alduin's Wall is like the next significant questline thing. Um, I found the Blades Lawmaster Esbern and brought him to the to Riverwood to talk to Delphine. He believes that the secret to defeating Alduin will be revealed by Alduin's Wall, an artifact created by the Ancient Blades. We need to go to Skyhaven Temple to find Alduin's Wall and see what it can tell us. Or I've got uh, Forbidden Legend, Silenced Tongues, uh, Laid to Rest, The Forsworn Conspiracy, Dampened Spirits, which is the Thieves Guild stuff, Promises to Keep, Message to Whiterun, which is the Civil War, which actually might be nice to pick up. Stealing plans, I don't know what that is. Dawn Guard is DLC. Fishing, more DLC, and then all my side quests and stuff here. Uh, and then we've got like a few different things. So Solitude says, I'd recommend continuing with this quest line. You can get some decent armor and weapons, but it will be tricky. Solitude says, do Dawn Guard. Isn't Dawn Guard fighting the vampires? Uh, isn't it recommended that you're like level 30 for that? Dragonborn. Uh, Dragonborn, I'm actually, I know a bit about it, so I'm planning to do an entire stream where I do the entire Dragonborn questline in one go. Uh, so Fenris, I'll be doing that another day. Right, I think I'm actually just going to stick with this questline, pick up the cool weapons and armour, because that it's always tempting. I like loot. And then uh, we'll do that, and then we'll look into doing some sideies. Okay. Let's go. 
yeah, Sam warned me that the Dragonborn DLC is like really long, and you kind of like if you initiate it, then whatever his face starts showing up and absorbing the dragon souls that you the dragons you kill it gets really annoying so she said that you want to kind of get it done in one go but it's like a long one so it'd be interesting to just do it as one full stream and like allocate you know a good six hours or so uh where are we traveling to over here Garth Spire fast travel to Cold Skegger Mine okay Fenris is calling the Dragonborn guy evil looking. Hey! Excuse me. Come on, Lydia. Use your. Use wind shear. Uh, I need to heal. Uh, let's just... Oh, I can't summon the Atronach. Okay. I think this guy shot his own friend. Power attack. Head off. Yeah! That's what you get, mate. That's what you get. I think they're all dead. Oh, a dragon. Fabulous. They killed a chicken. I eat, I eat a raw chicken. Okay. Where do we need to go from here? Uh, we need to go... In this direction, I believe. Okay, so Fenris is telling me, when I get too cast by a ghost sneaky, you can pickpocket, pickpocket the hearts out of the horrible ones. Uh, the Briar Heart pickpocket, very well noted. Okay, right. Good to know. Uh, I might just go clairvoyance here and just check. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to keep the Atronach loaded. Because I do want to build my conjuration skill. So it's across the river, maybe. Unless it looks like there might be a bridge there. So Solitude is saying Briar Hearts are essentially the top tier and hardest or most honoured of the Forsworn, like their legendary enemies. Okay, good to know. Uh, there is a bridge down there, but I think I might just go through the water. Maybe. Just because I'm an impatient patient. Solitude says that he had a mod that made Alduin summon meatballs. It's a storm, but meatballs. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I seem to remember Fenris that you uh, quite liked Melf's minute meteors in D&D once upon a time. Uh, should I go sneaky with this dragon around? I don't need any dragon souls, so I could just uh, not even bother. Unless that is Carspire down there. Do you mind? Potions resist frost. Potion of Resist Frost. Let's uh, drink that. Oh, and then let's quickly heal. Alright, well, it looks like the dragon's going to help clear out some of these guys, which means that probably uh, pickpocketing is off the table. Let's get the bow. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs was a great movie. I, I watched it with my son when he was very young and we, we laughed all the way through it. I think they did a sequel, but I don't remember what happens in that. 
presumably similar stuff. Sword Okay, so. Sword. Let's ravage. Let's ravage the... Stamina. Let's see if we can get some damaging potion on the go. Uh, potion of damage health. And he's, is he about to take off? No, okay, let's go Berserker Rage here as well. Uh, Berserker Rage. Maybe we can get him. Oh, he's gone. Oh, you flipping flipper. That is so disappointing. I'm back. I think I've got his wing there. Let's go to the side. Lydia and me are going to take you out, mate. Power attack, power attack, power attack. Dead. Ah, oh, I've still got my chef's hat on. <laughs> Okay, arrows, dragon bones, bunch of stuff. Let's give the dragon bones to Lydia. Lydia, can you carry my stuff? Rip. Okay, I don't tend to look at the chat when I'm fighting a dragon just because uh, it can so quickly just go south in my experience, but uh, thanks for all your support. I think pickpocketing is off the table, plus I'm a little bit sick of sneaking, so we're just going to go in full tilt, trash these guys. Uh, I'll give Lydia my stuff once we're gone. I'm not, I'm not a born sneaker, to be honest. As you, if you've been watching this, you probably know. Damn yo! Head off, very nice, thank you. Now I may just... is this bow good? No. I may just quickly put my helmet on. Whoops. Helmet, helmet, helmet. There we go. Just because uh, wearing a chef's hat and going into this fight is probably not the best idea. We got Esburn with us as well. Oh, nice. Shoda. That did not work. <laughs> yeah. uh, healing. No, I wanted healing, not healing hands. Oh, just stay back and let them do the heavy lifting for a minute. I'm actually going to quick save right here. Solitude says I'll love ice form when I eventually get it. Is that a dragon shout, yeah? It sounds like a dragon shout. Elphine's down. Let's, uh, let's heal other. Where is it? Healing hands. And are there any mods on the PC that give you like a better weapon management system, like where you can just quick change between weapons and stuff? I suppose you can just use hotkeys, right? Carth Spire camp discovered. Can you please don't shoot me? I'm uh, I'm busy looting your camp. Eat those. You just eat five cabbages. Nice. Two more cabbages. I guess I'll heal up. Let's wait in this tent.
Yeah, I don't know mods, because obviously I just sort of started playing this on the PlayStation, which does have a mod set, but um, I couldn't access it. I had to link my account, and it, it all kind of went wrong. I got impatient, so... But I think if I ever do another play, I'll probably do, like, a modded play with, like, quality of life mods rather than silly ones. This lady this seems pretty tough. Oh, one hit kill. Yeah, nice. Okay. So maybe don't just run straight up to her. Uh, let's try that again. I'll clear out this first lot and then I'll uh, I'll save. Where did he, where did he go? Are you are you dead? Did you die? <laughs> <laughs> to get out of the water. I don't, I don't know what happened to him. He just seemed to fall in the sea and die. Come on, let me out. There we go. Yeah, uh, Solitude, I think it was Ice Spike that got me. Yep. It looked like ice going right through me, so... Right, let's drop a quick save here, and we'll uh, try that again. Uh, where's my action act? Just have a quick uh, magic potion. That didn't do much. <laughs> Just waiting for my magic to recharge so I can get the Atronach. I've got your back. All right. As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I need to give I'll go you. I'm at your command. Here we go. Give you those. You lead, I'll follow. All right, let's go. Check that out. And fight this lady that's up here. Oh, where's she gone? Did they all just bug out and die? Oh no, she's up here. Okay. I've got unrelenting force equipped. Yes, I have. I'll let them run in first and start attacking. That's what I tried to do the first time. Power attack. Power attack. Oh, she's pretty tough. Oh. Okay, so I'm about to die. Potions. Uh, potion of healing. And she's dead. Nothing of use. And we'll just save there. There's a hag raven to the left, apparently. Good to know. Let's resummon the Atronach. Up here is there a hag raven. I didn't see it, but uh, I do believe you. Let's have a little loot, let's a little loot around. Anything in here? Gold, lockpicks, trash. Ah, Sam has arrived. 
Sam needs to recover from the long walk up the hill, so I didn't talk to her for about 15 minutes. All right. Uh, 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 uh. So the actual location is over there. Oh, so we didn't have to go here. Interesting. Carth Spire. Hmm, charming. Apparently this is a good loot chest if I go back to where I killed the Ravager, so... Let's uh, let's go have a look at that. Now I know where the, where the cast fire entrance is. Yeah, if there's a hag raven around here, I I don't know. Maybe one of the NPCs killed her or something. I know I was around here before. I ran through or something, and I killed a hag raven like off to one side and someone warned me I was in a dangerous spot maybe it was there right where's this chest I searched this one already okay left of her body a bit and then down oh Sam's just giving me chocolate alright Left of her body a bit and then down. Down here. This is a barrel. Eat cabbages. Loot chest, loot chest, loot chest. Is it up here? Hagrave, dead. Cool. Oh, giant's body. Amethyst, giant's toe, gold. Hawker tusk. Mammoth tusk. Those are pretty useful items. Those seem like ingredients. Void salts. Interesting. I think avoid salts do. Sometimes when you see a new thing like that, you don't necessarily want to use them. <laughs> um, like eat them in case they're super rare. Flawed Vala stone. Void salts Sam says I can eat void, void salts. So let's quickly do that. Uh, ingredients. Or it says B at the top of my ingredients list. I keep thinking it says Bay. Weakness to shock discovered from Poison Right. Vala Stone, Gold, Soul Gem, uh, Amulet of Kynareth. Uh, Elven Boots of Waning Shock increases shock resistance by 30. Uh, I'll take those and I'll probably just disenchant them. Let's quickly make some potions. Solitude says don't eat the Void Salts. I'll need them for later. Oh, well, there might be a quest for you, but... Is that the fire salts? Right. Well, it's too late. Too late, I've eaten them. B. Weakness to magic. Awesome. New potions. Void salts upgrade the nightingale blade. Okay. I don't have the nightingale blade yet. I'm sure or I'll get more at some point. Sorry for eating the void salts, Solitude. I'm a bad student.
Okay, I want Atronac, and then we'll save here. I will drink some water. Stay hydrated, and let's do this. Send her ahead. I don't want any of that. Bro! So they say the Briar Hearts have got some good loot. Uh, Briar Heart. Gold. Cool. What do I uh, what do I get from Briar Hearts? <laughs> Solitude says uh, not to worry. Oh, well that's I, I appreciate that. I mean, the way I figure it with these big RPGs is it doesn't hugely matter. Well, there's more void salts. Look, it doesn't hugely matter if you make a small mistake. Like, you're still going to get through the game, right? If you don't have the most powerful sword or whatever, you. Oh, I didn't want that. <laughs> I didn't want that wooden plate. Lydia, come here. Here, take this wooden plate. Right behind you. How can I serve you, my thane? Uh, uh, misc. There you go. You can eat your breakfast now. Search chest. Gold. Very nice. Alright, let's make our way through. Looks like we're in the same room as the objective, which is pretty good. It's Delphine and Esbern. must have something to do with it. To do, Here, got to do with it. You had this symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward. But... Sure, solve the puzzle. I recently played Inscription, and there were these three-part puzzles. I just brute forced them. <laughs> Dragonborn, Dragonborn, Dragonborn. Yes, that's it. The symbol of the pillar on the left. Whatever you did, you worked. Let's see what those old ladies... Yeah, so secure. Like, their encryption techniques really need some work. <laughs> Sam says... They only have to outsmart Draugr, so I guess that makes sense. Right, we need a whirlwind sprint here. Uh, let's go and put that into favourites now. Where do I need to get across to? Oh, that's not fire. Lydia, seriously? I think we must be close to the entrance. Hello, privacy terms. Welcome to the chat. Saying, why did they make Elden Ring look weird? I'm just looking at your uh, profile picture, privacy terms, and um, it's Wayne from Wayne's World. That's excellent. I mean, Elden Ring and Skyrim are worlds apart, but also similar colour palette, you know what I'm saying? I tried playing Skyrim once when uh, my son has completed all of the Dark Souls games and all the DLC and Elden Ring and everything, and uh, I died on like the first skeleton of Elden Ring. I was not very good at it. I think it takes a lot of patience. I think you have to really want to beat it. Hello, big face. Let's stand here and... Lydia! I'm the Dragonborn. Move. Lydia! Here's the Blood Seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt triggered by... Oh, okay, fine. 
Blood. You cut yourself open. I swear to God, if you cut your hand. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered even Cyrodiil. One thing that pisses me and Sam off a lot in films and stuff is when when people need to draw blood and they cut like straight across the tendons of the palm of their hand instead of just like a little pinprick in their shoulder or something. It to be a shrine to Raven. He ended the Akaviri invasion under mysterious circumstances. Esbern's probably right. Try using your blood on the that's probably why they put the glass sword in there, just in case you After don't have a sword. The battle of Pale Pass, the Akaviri went into his service. This was the foundation stone of the Second Empire. Uh, Sam is sat next to me with her silent ear headphones on in the chat. Activate blood seal. Try using your blood on the you idiot! Noth Pike! Why would you just destroy the tendons of your hand? Privacy, I got that you were being sarcastic. I understood. But I appreciate Homer for coming to uh, coming to my rescue. Funnily enough, in the, in the Discord server, we have like a rule about uh, if you're being sarcastic to write the word sarcasm, in case people don't understand. A rule that I myself flagrantly disregard on many occasions. Hey, do we need the torch here? Let's get the torch. Equip. Here we go. North Pike, the adventurer. I feel like uh, there's going to be a dragon power word here or something. What's this? Is that Alduin? That looks a lot like Alduin. Or maybe a zombie dragon? Uh, there's a guy here fighting. There's this looks like a face hugger from Alien. Uh, that looks like a greybeard, maybe. I'm guessing these are the blades. There's another dragon there. Okay, let's go up round and have a look. All right, nothing here. Okay, that's to leave. So let's go back down to that wall, and I probably just meant to press press X or something. <laughs> Privacy says, if I state sarcasm when sarcastic, does that not paradox it and make it not sarcasm? Or am I making stuff up with this logic? No, what you're talking you, what you're talking about there is a, like a self-destructive uh, statement. Sometimes there's just no good option. We can't police sarcasm all the time. Okay. Esben's... The sequence has caught up with Esben. He's now also got a flipping torch, so... Let's go back to Atronach. <laughs> Fenris says the ligament... Eh, Indeed. ligaments are overrated. This panel goes back to I'm assuming that's sarcasm, Fenris. When Alduin and the dragon cult rule. Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against Privacy the says Lord. she said she was twelve. Now that's a self destructive <laughs> Oh dear. You see, the here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straight it's funny, as soon as my girlfriend uh, sits down and joins the stream and gets in the chat, all the lads with the edgy humour come out. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to happen. Or right, even Alduin himself. Let this, uh, this is where they record discussion the unfold. Lydia's dancing. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? Delphine, I was look I was admiring Windshear. Uh the Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. I wish there was a mod for the 
Delphine quest line where you could just kill Delphine instead of Parthenax. Uh, I'll ask Arn Gear if he knows what shout they used. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern. Or I reckon the blades are pretty much a cult. We'll as well, look around to be Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos Guard. Solitude, were you here when Parthenax joined the, the stream man. chat? The that was weird. Privacy <laughs> says Adam's girlfriend smells. Vote for Lego Skyrim. Goodbye, love you, stranger. Okay, thanks for that very confusing message. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Haven't you been living, like, in the sewers for, like, the last 20 years? I think Delphine's pretty well informed, mate. Okay. Talk to Arngear. So, are we going to go follow through on this quest line and talk to Arngear? Uh, with Esbern's help, I've deciphered Alduin's wall in Skyhaven Temple. It revealed that Alduin was defeated in ancient times by a shout of some kind. Maybe the Greybeards can teach me this shout, or at least tell me how I can learn it. <gasps> Is this Stragonrend, the one that forces them to land so I don't have to use my stupid bow? Oh, I'll learn Clear Skies. Okay, Clear Skies is good. I, I've watched um, I've watched a bit of the end game content on Spiffing Brit, and I've seen him use that fighting. I can't remember fighting some dragon, like some high level dragon that made a storm show up or something. I didn't really understand what I was looking at, but yeah, it seemed pretty handy. Uh, let's get across here. Well, wind sprint, yep. Yeah. I think I'll put unrelenting force back on. I try to remember to do that to do that before I need it instead of like when I need it because I'll definitely forget. In the heat of battle, I just don't think of any sort of planning stuff. Solitude says, "Go back. You forgot to get your blades, armor, and dragon, dragon bane." Did I? I thought I picked that up from that chest. Uh, nope. Okay, I'm going back, I'm going back. I apologise. Where is it? Is it in... It's not in that chest, is it? Fenris also told me to go back. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not in here. Oh, this way. It's in a room adjacent to the wall. Okay. Solitude's telling me to stop apologising. Ain't gonna happen, bro. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, are you having a nice sit down there, Delphine? You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf on my right ear. In here? Here we go. Okay, blade shield, blade's armour... Let's equip that. Let's equip that. Take that. Take those. Yeah, all this stuff is great. Not quite as good as my chef's hat, but what can you do? Is this definitely heavy armour? Blades armour. Heavy armour, yep. Okay. So I can improve some of that. That'll be good. Here, Lydia, right take you. my armour. How can I serve you, my Thane? I think this armor is better than mine, mate. So you can serve me by getting tooled up. Let's 
steel plate armor. Was that my armor? Yep, it's enchanted. Sick. We'll we'll sell her old stuff. It's turned into boob armor. It wasn't boob armor when I was wearing it. Oh, and did I get a cool sword? Is it just armor? Go back and look on the table. There you will find dragon bane. Nope. Nope. I think Delphine's stolen it. Nope. Back in the room where I found the chest, there's a table in there. <laughs> Oh, the table in the room. Anyone watching this on catch up, like later down the line, must just it must just be agonizing to watch me like floundering around and not be able to actually say something. Here we go, Dragon Bane. What is that? Is that a sword? Uh read. Mace etiquette. One handed increase to seventy. Alright. Let's uh, have a look at this and see how it stacks up against my ebony sword. Dragon Bane. 25, uh, 25 points of extra damage to dragons, 10 points of shock damage to others. Uh, but it is a drop in damage from what I've got. I've now got quite a few like magic swords. I could disenchant Dragon Bane and then add that to something more powerful that I pick up, maybe. Maybe I should switch to it when I fight a dragon. Oh yeah, they have got an Imperial Sword before the Empire arrived. Okay. We've got Dragon Bane. Let's equip it for now, just to see how the shock stuff works. Ooh. This... Hey Sam, do you remember when we had that car that um, constantly electrocuted us every time we... Every time we closed the door. Oh, you can't disenchant Dragon Bane. I'll just keep it in my inventory then and just use it when I fight a dragon. I think that's probably... True. I'll use it for now though, because the electroshock damage might be interesting. Right, let's get out of here. Whirlwind Sprint. <laughs> Sam in the chat is asking if this new blade is the version of that car that electrocuted us. Yes, it is. I'm lost. Through there. Oh, it was a leaf. I thought I saw a stamina potion in my in my peripheral vision. Damage health poison recipe. I already know that. Garnet, eat the venison. And yeah, shame we didn't get a chance to pickpocket the Forsworn Briar Heart and kill him instantly, but a good old stabby stab to the back of the head seemed to work just fine. Okay, let's fast travel. Where are we going? Where's the thing? Over here. Hi, Hrothgar! Solitude is saying I'll have many more opportunities to pickpocket Briar Hearts, as though I'm ever going to do that. 
<laughs> ever gonna once I've done the th the thieves skill stuff, I can't see me ever crouching down again, like not even once. I'm nothing if not an honest, brutal murderer orc. Hello, Argy. Sky, guard you. Is it not even bothered that we brought Delphine along? Uh, I need to learn the shout that used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Uh, it was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Didn't these guys train Ulfric the Stormcloak, though? So they're have you learned nothing kind of hypocrites, us? really. Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Uh, the Blades just want to defeat Alduin, don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Well, Argit, that would mean everyone I know dies. No, <laughs> so no thanks. Not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Oh, dear. Bruh. Dragonborn, wait. This Sorry, helmet looks I wicked. Look at that. Intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. Sam says in the chat, she doesn't see why a shout that makes dragons land is so dangerous to teach you. Yeah, I know, right? No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called... Dragon rent, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragon rent holds no place within the way of the voice. What's so bad about Dragon rent? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. I mean, I just did the Dark Brotherhood stuff, so I'll probably be fine. Uh, if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alderaan? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Uh -huh. I know who Parthenax is, uh, but I'm going to indulge him and ask him anyway. Who is Party Snacks? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. <laughs> sounds like, sounds just going hard on Bethesda right now in the chat. She says, they poured all their hate into this shout and it makes dragons land. All their rage. Uh, why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see oh, him... Oh, so great actually, Angir hasn't mentioned that Parthenax is a dragon at this point. I guess if I'd never heard of this before. In fact, I remember first playing this, and I got to the point where I spoke to Parthenax, and I was surprised he was only a dragon. Those I didn't know. Is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Come on, Angie. Let's let's get a move on. Surely you know whirlwind sprint. <laughs> Bruh. Where are we going? Oh, there's the door. Okay.
<laughs> Solitude says, Lydia's just like, uh, can we go home yet? Yeah, she's probably ha happy to have... Oh, I just realised I've got a better, better shield. Blade shield. So I can give Lydia the shield of major blocking. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Here we go. Apparel. Uh, let's unfavorite that. Let's favorite the one I'm wearing. And then let's give that to Lydia. Lead on. Apparently the Falmer shield is better. Still here. Let's get going then. Oh, uh, yeah. That is probably because it's just got a higher stat. Do the 25% buffs then. and stuff apply to the companions or not? Sam says if sometimes when people are taking forever to walk somewhere, just wait an hour. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm here. Follow me. I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. Well, there's a lot of stuff to ask him, and to be honest, I like... I get the gist. Uh, so let's not go into all of this stuff about why do you hate the Blades, because I kind of get it. They're just like... They're, they have two opposing sets of beliefs, and that's kind of enough. Uh, is there another way to defeat Alduin? I'd like to learn more about the voice. Do I need to talk Long. to him? Yeah. Let's Perhaps try this. not. But this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. What's so bad about the Dragon Ren shout? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this. Oh, has he already? Has he already said this? It looked like it was a fresh dialogue option. Uh, I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. Have you located any words we of power? I felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Okay. Sky. Find the word of power. Oh, here it is. It's <laughs> like wandering around looking for it. Word of power learned. Sky, clear skies. Oh, and another one. Summer, clear skies. I will you understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Right, let's uh, get this shout out. Clear skies. Unlock. He's just about to give you that for free. Oh! Do I get another one now? Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, that's kill some more dragons. We'll blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous. Uh, shouts. Two dragon souls. Oh, I wasted a dragon soul. Not Oopsie. Imagine, I'd life. hate to be that dragon right now. Keep moving. That Stay one that attacked me. On your goal. Awkward. You will reach the summit. Uh, 
<laughs> Solitude's like, imagine if you just took out a crayon and drew on the ground. <laughs> I know, right? But they, I guess they kind of worked into the ground. Okay, let's uh, use our new shout and we'll... This is where I tried to, like, knock Lydia off the side before and it went pretty badly. Alright, alright, I'm dying, I'm dying. Yeah, I just used it, but it didn't work. Maybe I didn't select it. Uh, no, I didn't. There we go. Just let uh, it recharge a minute. Look. Oh, so uh, Solitude is saying that the Draugr were subjected to some shocking and sadistic treatments, which you can learn about in the lore, especially at Foral Host. Uh, I, I don't know about that, though. I'd like to hear about that. If you tell me, I'll read it out for the viewers. Switch back to Unrelenting Force and also get my sword. Oh, a oh, blade shield. There we go. The, the blade shield doesn't look as cool as my, uh, as my shield. Uh, my dwarven shield. Maybe I'll enchant it with some cool glowing stuff. That, that'll do the trick. Looks like I need to use uh, clear skies again. Let's shout. Let's favourite that one. You see Daisy, I forgot to actually equip it. Clear skies. Uh, there we go. So I'm getting hurt, but like not badly. Here we go. Use it here. I've just got to, got to let my dragon shout recharge because um, I used Fusurdar by accident. So she says, so essentially you have tiers of Draugr in terms of strength and honour, like white scourges and overlords or death overlords. Uh, and then you have dragon priests. I saw a, a dragon priest on the Spiffing Brits stream last week. Uh, it looked pretty impressive. It gave him a hard time to kill. He was floating around, absorbing life off people. It's basically like a fish. There we go. Oh no, poor goat. Take your leg. Let's uh, get the Atronach up for this one. Blade shield. Ah, that actually went down pretty easily. Clear skies. Oh, I think Sam's going to make me a cup of tea. She just let out a laugh when she heard me say that in her headphones. Yeah! Where's my sword? Where's my sword? There it is. When you uh, when you change equipment, oh. everything changes in the menu. Yes, go. Oh. All right, let's read out a bit of the lore that's coming in. So, Solitude says the dragon priests served as some of the highest and most adorned by the dragons. Um, it's more specifically, Alduin. Uh, an order of fourteen were specially chosen and given masks as the very highest. Each mask has a unique quest in the base game. Some are included within Dragonborn DLC. These masks contain special enchanted properties, versatile and unique. Uh. 
more dead goats. Eat that. Silver rings, very nice. Let's run up here. Why do I feel like there'll be a frost troll in a minute? Let's get the Atronach ready. There we go. I didn't really want that Dwarven shield, to be honest. Uh, it's just going to weigh me down. I'll sell it as soon as possible. I'll drop it if I don't need it. I'll drop it if I don't get a chance to sell it before I get over encumbered. Okay, let's carry on. I've still got clear skies on. Yep. Solitude says that the Dragon Priest masks also look hella cool. Look. Back to the law. These were not nice guys. To be granted a mask, you had to serve Alduin and bend to his will. The priests were pretty evil, Ragot being one of the most horrific. And we got a content warming, warning coming up. I mean, I have been chopping off heads, so I guess it's not really a problem. I think I can hear the kettle boiling. Sam, are you making me a cup of tea? She says, yes, she is. Wow. Do you know where my decaffeinated tea bags are? Okay, this. Look! Here again. There we go. Ah, my decaffeinated tea bags are in the cupboard above all the like salt and pepper and hot sauce and stuff. You'll see them there. Well, this is important. The viewers want to hear this. They need to know where my decaffeinated tea bags are. What if we ever do a live live stream at the house where everyone comes and visits, yeah? They're going to want to know where the decaf tea bags are. Okay, I feel like we must be close to Parthenax by now. Whoa! Now, hands up if you attacked him the first time you saw him. Because I think I did. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Well, I was really looking forward to somebody looking at me from a really awkward, painful angle, actually. <laughs> You'd have thought that they'd have orientated his head slightly higher so that he's not, like, looking at you nostrils first. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. Uh, you're the master of the Greybeards, or I think you already know who I am. I'll yes, go with that. Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Uh, why live alone on a mountain if you love conversation? Evenar Balok. There are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kachnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the dragon wren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the dove. By long tradition, the elder speaks first. Let's put my sword away. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Whoa. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Learn the word of power from Parthenax. Okay. Inferno, fire breath. 
Wow, my new helmet's pretty sick. I need to get this enchanted ASAP. <laughs> uh, so which uh, shout should I use then? Unrelenting Force? Or the one I just learned? I think uh, the one I just learned. Uh, Fire Breath Inferno. Okay, let's hold it down. Do not be afraid. Fast no. don't stand there. Let me feel the power of your thumb. Oh. Ah, yes. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own. You're right, Lydia does look pretty over it. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task. Bartanax? No! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no, I've broken Bartanax. <laughs> what has he got? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, I need to timestamp this so I can make a short out of it. What is it? Um two and a half hours, okay. Can you teach me the dragon run shout? You would not come all this way for Tinvark with an old Dover. No, uh, you seek your weapon against Alduin. We can't hear him because he's too far away. No, and I'm having to say it for him. Uh, how did you know I came for Dragonrend? Alduin, Comet, Steed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do <laughs> not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, your mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Uh, Solitude, I will save the clip. I'll do it via YouTube, though, because I can't do it on the PlayStation right now, because I'm streaming. How can I learn it, then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this? <laughs> Just look to him again. <laughs> Uh, I like this world. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Rules are as good a reason as any. <laughs> <They're> all... <laughs> there are many fearless you two. <laughs> Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the... It's just going mad. Lane Vokin, would you stop the next world from being born? Fenris is telling me not to look at Parthenax. Uh, the next world will have to take care of itself. Bars, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken, oh man, the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Would indeed. Los Tarodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough, Croesus. Now I will answer your question. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monaven? What do you name the throat of the world? Uh, no, dragons like mountains, right? True. But few now remember that this was the very spot where Aldwin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varukt und Slad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. By using the dragon wrench out, right? Yes and no. Vik nus nikron. Aldwin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the dragon wrench out to cripple Aldwin, but this was not enough. Ok, Mulag und Slad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Uh, 
I'm just reading back through your chat. <laughs> Solitude said he saved the clip for me. Oh, you can put it in the Discord if you want, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, an Elder Scroll, what's that? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dov have words for such things that the Jori do not. It is an artifact from outside time. What a gatekeeper. He's like, oh, my language has a word for it, but you wouldn't. <laughs> it's, like, it's like my girlfriend goes to another school. <laughs> you wouldn't have heard of her or something. Uh, it does not exist, but it has always existed. Ra Walan. They are hmm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls, as you name them. They have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zophas Sulik. Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever. Forever lost, me. I know better. Chidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Sam's made me a cup of tea in our colour changing Pokemon mug. Well, our, my son's colour changing Pokemon mug. Which is why I've lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I've waited. Oh, I missed the end of that. Whoops. Uh, how does any of this help me? Why has the Dragonborn suddenly got so much sass with Parthenax? Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll back here, to the Tid Aran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time... He's capitalising the word time, which is interesting. You may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Ooh, okay. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years that I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm, Esbern or Arngir might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakim. Your blood will show you the way. Uh, okay. There's a bunch of questions to ask him. Um, I'm going to go through them all. Um, and then after that, I will be taking a short comfort break uh, to eat some chocolate and then be coming right back. So let's go what through if these. He stays there forever? I think if we leave and come back, he'll just spawn in on the ground, won't he? Probably. If we leave and come back, he'll just spawn in on the ground. How do you know? Uh, I just think so. <laughs> Lydia came back. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll find out, eh? Uh, what do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Return it here to the Tid Aran, then Kelvomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll bond with the Tid Aran will allow you a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no Dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see then Wuth Fadon, my friends, Hakon, Gomlaith, Feldir. Hakon, Gomlaith, Feldir, who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin, Sarotune. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin, Sarotun, the Nords of... Oh, I said the same thing. Okay. Uh, how could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? Vomindok. I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing they erase the knowing of it from, the ta from time itself. The Dov are children of Akatosh. Thus we are specially attuned to the flow of time, perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Nihon, they would not listen. You mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us. Niov. Their inner councils were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall. But all Dov felt the sundering of time itself. What does the Dragon Ren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality, a truly vomindoran, incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dov. You are the master of the Greybeards. I misread that as monster. You are the monster of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin, 
Uh, others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words? How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Ah, Anke said the same thing. Contemplate the feeling. I've just looked at him again. I've been reading all this. I've just looked back at him. <laughs> We're nearly through it. We're nearly through the dialogue. Will I teach you, Dorfakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim and Yol. Uh, well, the one the one that I resonate most with is Fus, because of Fus Froda. Yol is like YOLO. Uh, which doesn't appeal to me. And Faim just makes me think of like the femur, like the the, the leg bone. So I'm going to go with Fus. It's called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its paths. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dofakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Oh, I have to do them all. Fine. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have a greater affinity for this word than the Dov. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Udsladzi, where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fame. Let its meaning fill you. Sum ark mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Uh, and we'll do YOL as well. YOLO. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of YOL, Sulek, power. You have it, as do all Dov, but power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your SUM, in your breath. SUM ARK MORA. What will you burn? What will you spare? Okay. He, is he coming back? Bruh. He's coming back. He's just gonna like dive bomb. No, don't, no, where are you going? Parthenax. Drem your look. Greetings. Now I'm looking back through you guys in the chat who apparently have just come become completely unhinged. Uh, okay, so now he's here to do the dialogue, which I've already done. Fine. Look soon. That's fine. All right, Parthenax, are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah. You okay? All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna take a five-minute break here. Uh, uh, eat a bit of chocolate drink my tea consider my my next options so um if you have some ideas about what to go do next whether i should follow the main quest line or maybe go pick up an important side quest or something uh, let me know in the chat and i'll see you in five
And then back. Testing, testing. I just kicked the controller on the floor. Can you all hear me just fine? All right. So let's have a look at the chat and see what you recommended I do. Hello, Talian. How are you? How was the gym today? You were pleased to know... My audio is a bit weird. Hang on, we're going to do a quick audio chat because I might have damaged my headphones. Uh, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, on the dance floor. Blah, blah. How's it sounding? Check, check, one, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Unique New York. Unique New York. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think um, it's just I when I dropped the controller, I pulled the cable out. Do you want to mute again? All right, cool. Okay, we're, we're back on. Yeah, it was a, I'd had like a little glitch before I unplugged and replugged the uh, headset, and it took a minute to sort itself out. So, hello, Art is in the air. Welcome. How are you doing? Did the solar eclipse happen, or not? I spoke to my son in California today and we weren't sure if the solar eclipse actually went over them. Uh, Solitude, yes, I did enjoy my chocolate, but I don't, I'm not any more clued up as to which quest I should go and do. So, we've got the mainline quest here. Elder knowledge. I met the master of the greybeards, the dragon Parthenax. He told me that the ancient Nords used an Elder Scroll to cast Old Wind forward in time. If I can recover that same Elder Scroll, I may be able to use it to learn the Dragon Ren Shout directly from the ancient heroes. I think I want the Dragon Ren Shout, so I think I should follow through. It's okay, Sam's just joking around, it's fine to talk about eclipses. Okay, we're going to go uh, and follow the mainline quest. I think that's I think that's what we want to do. So Skyhaven Temple, doesn't look like I can, oh I can fast travel there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're back, we're back to here again. Should I sell this glass sword? Is it worth money? Four hundred and ten. Yeah, we'll take, take it. Lydia, I've got your bag. Uh, I need to trade some things with you. How can I serve you, my thane? Uh, let's give her anything that weighs loads. So my dwarven shield. Give. And uh, maybe some weapons as well. I'm carrying a lot of trash. Uh, iron dagger. Doesn't look like I can give her this glass sword. Weird. Uh, what have I got that's misc? Flawed Vala stone. Is this Vala stone like a quest item, or can I sell it? Because it's worth a thousand gold, which is pretty good. Mammoth tusk. Weight five. Let's give that to her as well. Orca tusk. I'm not really sure what it is I'm carrying that weighs so much. Is it just all these potions? Must be. All right. Maybe we'll have to go and do a selling spree again in a minute. Okay. Fenris is saying, hold platter against wall of lift of Alfland. Use whirlwind sprint and you'll get through. Okay. Sam says she thinks I should go start the Dawn Guard. Uh, I think I'll do that next. I think I'll.
try and get Dragon Rend if I can get that done like in the allotted time tonight, and then maybe the next one we'll do the Dawn Guard. Standing someplace high up. Right, there's, there's an optional thing here, so let's make sure we don't do it wrong. Optional, talk to Esburn or talk to Arngear. Oh, does this denote some kind of allegiance? Our, I'm well, with Esburn now, I'll just talk to him. Ah, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. I'll need an Elder Scroll to get any further. Ah, indeed. And there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in a local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. Uh, any idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. All right, then Fenris has just told me it's in Blackreach. <laughs> ...within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding... Fenris, I think I've been to Blackreach. I could never wake up. Maybe. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth. Dawn and a sound to distinct. Are you still talking? Come on, Draugr. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams, I can't. Uh, he's just going to. I'm just going to talk to Delphine. Do you need something? So this is all the blades, two people. The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. Uh, maybe I can help you find new recruits. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Solitude says, take it from me, Blackreach sucks. Also, sorry for the late reply, I cut my finger open. Oh, were you trying to get into a secret temple? Is that what you're doing? Did you, did you slash your finger to activate a secret door? No, seriously, I hope you're okay. <laughs> uh, so what do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the civil war? I've just closed the window. It's as stormy as actual Skyrim Alduin? outside. No. <laughs> Rainy and stormy. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Uh, I brought someone to induct into the Blades, did I? Who, not Lydia. I don't think Lydia wants to join the Blades. Who are the Thalmor? If I, if I do that dialogue option, does that um, end up with Lydia joining the Blades? The Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Then, finally, oh, he's still talking about. and horror arrive together. I'm not going to have Lydia join the cult. Uh, because the sound the I don't know. I just don't like the blades because they're going to make me kill Parthenax. I don't want to do that. It's too late for escape. The dragon is upon the fire. The darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours. He's still the talking. I've been to the kitchen, put my wrapper in the bin from my chocolate, and come back, and he's still talking. 
but know that it was not. What do you need, Dragonborn? Right, so so Solitude's saying that she won't join the cult, and Fenris is saying that she will. What is it? You guys know I'm gullible. You need to you need to tell me the truth. You need something? Sam's, Sam's shouting out loud, don't risk it. I won't risk it. Yeah, Fenris is saying that um, it's confirmed that Esbern is a Draugr because he never st he doesn't need to breathe. He just never stops talking. Uh, why is all this stuff on the table? <laughs> Messy. There we go, I've cleared the table. Right, on to the next on to the next bit. I kind of like keen to get away from Delphine. I just I don't know why. I'm quite averse to her. So Fenris, you were saying about like uh, you can glitch somewhere by whirlwind sprinting across something, but I, I don't know what you mean. I guess that fire floor has been deactivated, that's good. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, Fenris, don't worry, I, I don't think I'll be heading to Blackreach this session because we've only got half an hour left and uh, I'm going to follow on this on this quest line for now. So uh, probably do that on the next stream, which will be Thursday evening. Although I might do the Dawn Guard, I'm not really sure. I haven't decided. All right, let's get some fast travel up. Where are we going? Winterhold. I don't think I've unlocked that yet, no. Let's, uh, we still don't have our horse back, so I think, can I get a, can I get a cart to Winterhold? Let's go to Whiterun, because uh, we want to, we're going to do have a quick, like, selling session. Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. They could. Right, Adrienne, we need to sell you some stuff. I don't claim to be the... Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Apparel. Okay, let's do our little gameplay loop of uh, disenchanting, enchanting, selling, Yesterday making potions, etc, etc. Right we'll devote a few minutes to that. I think because I'm carrying so many potions, I just get over-encumbered really easily. A lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Need more cool, so she's saying I can I can take the cart there, that's good. Um, Sam's asking how I killed Shadowmere. I didn't, she was just helping me and then she just disappeared. I and she never came back. On, on, in the same session that Lydia disappeared. <laughs> Alright, let's do some disenchanting. Elven boots of waning shock. Right, lids, give me all your stuff that you can do. Right behind you. I am at your command. Uh right, what we're gonna take off her. Uh this, 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 this. Oh no, wait, I didn't want to do that. We'll disenchant the major blocking shield, which will sort out my encumbrance. Hang on, what have I done? I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my thane? Yeah, she has got it. Right, let's take that. 
Let's get going then. Disenchant. We will want to fortify fortify block on my blade shield if that's possible. Uh, All right, let's think about this. Let's do the blade shield, and we want to fortify block. Yep. Soul gem. Oh, we've only got one soul gem. Interesting. Let's find Farangar. Here he is. Let's buy oh, some soul gems Jesus, off him. Damn the. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. This right, books. Can I get Conjure Frost Atronach yet? Nope. Okay, I need to start using my soul trap weapon. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Okay, let's do some actual enchanting on my armor, my new armor. Uh, There's so, item, magic, don't you think? blades, armor. It's simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge fortify to do Fortify heavy armor, and then let's use the greater soul gem. Item, Blades Boots, Enchantment. Oh, I can't, I can't enchant the boots with anything useful. Okay, let's change the item. Uh, blades Gauntlets, Enchantment. What oh, fortify one-handed if I can? No. Alright, fortify heavy armour, create a soul gem. Blades Helmet. Enchantment. So just do fortify magicka regen on that. Alright, now let's uh now let's enchant some stuff to sell. Glass sword. Item <clears throat> Silver Necklace Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. Silver ring fortify <clears throat> heavy armor. Cool, and then one more. Cool, that's all of them done. I did get a level up, so I'm not sure what to spend that level up on. Uh, let's get Whirlwind Sprint up, and we will make our way to Adrienne. Goodbye Fenris, thank you for joining, if I haven't missed you. He wants me to get a platter, so I'll grab one. There we go. All right, let's fast travel down to the... Can I fast travel when I'm over encumbered? I don't remember. Nope. Lydia, I need you to carry a bunch of stuff. Back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Good. Because you're about to carry a lot of them. Lead on. 
There we go. Oh, Solitude says you can fast travel on a horse over encumbered, but not, not on a horse. If only I had a horse. If only. Mister, could you spare a coin? That little girl's always yeah, asking me for coins. Not what time is it? Uh, 8.16 p.m. Let's go sleep in our house. around no not had a sleep in a while Sam says I can adopt the annoying little girl who keeps asking for money I don't have a bedroom though for a kid I've just got the enchantment room uh, okay oh yeah I was gonna sleep Let's do let's do a good twelve hours, a nice solid long sleep. There we go, nice. Uh, Lydia, come out of there, please. There we go. Right, it's time to sell, sell, sell. Solitude, adios. We're, we're going to be wrapping it up in 20 minutes anyway, so um, I'll catch you on the next one. I don't know if you're going to be missing anything significant here because I'm just going to be selling and probably just set up for the next quest anyway. But yeah, last Sam says, go sort out your finger. <laughs> uh, oh, she she's not up yet. Maybe she gets up later. Welcome to War Maidens. Looking to protect Oak yourself War Bear. deal some damage. Okay, let's uh can sell Dragonbane to him. Haha. <laughs> Do I need to keep this glass sword or can I sell it? Oh Lydia's got all my stuff. Okay. Good doing business with you. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Right, let's take the Dwarven Shield. Dwarven Armor of Major Restoration. Oh. Lead on. You look like me. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Let's look at selling weapons first. Sell. I won't sell wind shear, I'll give that back to Lydia. Sell. 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 Until next time. He doesn't want to buy dragon bones. Understandable. Understandable. Oh. Oh. The Thua. He summons the Thua. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. You know, even if you are my elder. Just making my way you down, Terry. Blah 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 blah. What brings you? Cool. Uh, right. Well, I thought. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's. Take a look. All right, Misk. Uh, amethyst. Dragon bone. Yeah, we've cleared him out. Oh no, yeah, we've cleared him out. Do come back. Yes. 
Right, let's go and sell some trash to Arcadia. Got some? Just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any. You look ra Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Cleared her out, that's good. Back anytime if you need a now let's go dump a load of stuff in the house. And then we'll go set up for the next quest. <laughs> Okie dokie, so... Let's drop off in here. Right, drop that off. Why do I not have this equipped? Uh, my chef's hat's staying with me. Let's uh, dump a few potions. Mining. <laughs> Let's stamp like a and at some point I guess I'll just sell these. Potion of the warrior. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh right, and then any misc to drop off. Dragon scales. The Vala stone. Drop that off. Garnets. Goat horns, <laughs> orca tusk, ingots and stuff. I guess I actually will just use when I'm going to do like a bit of smithing. Uh, so I'll get rid of those two. There's that plate, sapphire, another plate. Okay, now my encumbrance is 297. That's fine. I think I might switch to weapons wise, switch to the. Soul trap axe. I'm just trying to trap some souls in some soul gems. So I think I've got a bunch of empty ones. So I'm just shouting in the chat, Dragon Rend! This war is as stupid as a few the Clan Grey main. You never have potions other than healing. Yeah, I do. I use uh, Recharge Magicka and I use Recharge Stamina, but some of the others I kind of like, they're a bit negligible to remember to, to set up at the beginning of a fight. Uh, so let's fast travel. Oh yeah, we were going to get the cart, weren't we? Let's get the cart. Oh, level up. Haha. -ha. Uh, let's level up. Oh, let's round off Stamina. Yeah. There we go, 200. I am noticing now that my, my fighting, I've generally got like enough stamina. Uh, which is good. Sam's telling me to buy a horse. It's actually not a bad idea. One-handed. Oh no, let's take a look at Conjuration, because I was actually keen to boost that a bit. Conjuration, okay. What have I got? 23? I don't think I can do anything. Mystic Binding. Uh, dual Casting a Conjuration Spell overcharges the spell, allowing it to last longer. That's quite good. Apprentice level Conjuration Spells. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. And then remember to just put it on both hands. Try to remember. And then my Atronax will last a bit longer. So Sam sent me to buy a horse, even though I lost Shadowmere. Very upsetting. Where are you? Hello. Got 
Man like Can I buy a horse? So. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Here's my offer, 1,000 gold. Deal. It's the one with the saddle. Oh, there's a yellow Palomino Light's horse gone. at Solitude. Oh, I've got this one. What should we call the horse? That's the question. Okay, so... Actually quite far on the map. But I want to ride my new horse, so... Why don't we... Palace of the Kings. Why don't we fast travel to Dawnstar and then go over to the east on the horse? That'd be cool. Sam wants to call the horse Chili Bean. Okay, I'll take that vote. That's good. Uh, hello, bunch of... Didn't I kill you lot? Didn't the dragon kill you lot? Right, here's the thing. Where's the actual route? Uh... Do I go and take the road, or can I just go cross-country? Oh, apparently there's a dragon. Sam says there's a dragon. There it is. Should we fight the dragon, or just wander off? I don't see it. I did hear the roar. Is it on Dawnstar again? Those poor people. Yeah, there it is, look. Right, yeah. Hopefully this horse will run away when I get off. Alright, let's go. Both hands on Flame Atronach. don't have enough magicka. Oh no. Okay, I need to boost magicka. So I put that point into that and I can't use it. Now orc bow. Let's leave the horse here uh, so that it doesn't get killed by the dragon. I think the dragon's gone. Never mind. No, there it is. Okay, Mr. Dragon, hello. Yeah, we'll go in there and we'll uh, get sort it out. So I'm going to want to resist fire. Let's uh, drop a resist fire potion on. Uh, potion of resist fire. Where are you? Iron arrows. I don't want iron arrows. I want good arrows. Uh, weapons. Steel arrow. There we go. If I'm saying the horse will join the fight. Uh, will it die? We got a shot on him. I think my resist fire is probably running out. I don't want the horse to die, but I suppose I'm going to have to fight dragons at some point. So, hopefully, this area is too crowded for it to actually get calm back. He's going for my horse. Okay, I need uh, unrelenting force equipped. Okay, let's uh, set up what stuff we want. Powers, uh, I want Berserker Rage. Summon Spectral Assassin, what's this? Summons the ghost of the legendary assassin Lucien Le Chance to fight by your side until he's defeated. Thraxen. Oh, hello, Thrak. How are you doing? <laughs> Thrak says, sup, you fucking nerd. You just caught the end of the stream and we're fighting a dragon. Uh, I'm worried it's going to kill my horse, so I'm going to use Berserker Rage. 
I don't know what summon spectral attack is. And then uh, we will uh, go for Ebony Sword. Where's my new shield? There's my new shield. Power attack. Oh, come back. You loser. Those uh, merchants absolutely smash that dragon. Okay. Uh, Epony sword. I can. Yeah, we got it. I'm on fire, and the horse is horse. You're on fire. Stop it. All right. Calm down. <laughs> okay, steel arrow. Cool, Lydia, can you carry all that crap I just picked up, please? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yep, you sure are. Uh, misc. Dragon bone, dragon scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Lead on. Nice, we got ourselves a soul. Cool. Yeah, unfortunately, Thrak, you may have missed it because uh, I've had a stream in between, but I lost Shadowmere and she glitched out. So this is just an ordinary horse. But I might go back and check uh, next stream, maybe. But we should have just bought a normal horse. And I, yeah, I really don't want it to be fighting dragons if it could possibly avoid it. Yeah, I was doing quite a few streams all in one week. And I realised it's like 12 hours of content for people to catch up on. So I'm going to do fewer. And I might switch to doing Baldur's Gate. So that it just breaks it up a bit. But Monday night will always be Skyrim. You know how it is. You're a, you're a pro streamer. How are your teeth? We're just riding the new horse across the landscape. On my compass, what is that Skyrim logo thing? Oh, Sam says it's an Imperial camp. I'm friends with them, but I did just like murder the Emperor and stuff, so maybe I'm not, now that I think about it. If I jump down there, uh, the horse will definitely die. So let's let's take the long way around. See wolves. Let's just uh, take these out because I don't want to nip at the horse. Nice wolves. Down. Uh, there you are. Oh, the ice balls have actually got some uh, got some bites in there. Sam says I can sprint with the horse to go faster. I know. I'm just enjoying. After the intensity of uh, spinning Parthenax, uh, it's nice to just have a relaxing ride across. There's a bear fighting a walrus, so I think I'm just not going to intervene. I can hear battle music, is that just the bear? Lydia, are you fighting the... <sighs> Lydia, you silly move. She just wants to test out her new armor. Just killed a dragon. I, just, I don't feel like it's fair to attack this bear. All right, take that stuff. We're good, but we're leaving the walrus alone. 
Sam says don't let the bear get the horse. This horse is more of a liability. Like, I'm doing more combat to protect the horse than just riding around on it. Alright, we're on our way to uh, wherever it was. Let's uh, drop a quick save here and see if we can defeat this troll. Play Matronak, I think. Uh, horsey, run away from the troll, please. You could if you could program in cowardice. That would be pretty useful. There we go. That wasn't too tough. I feel like they're just more of a challenge when you're, like, level one. Uh, where's my horse? Horse! Where are you? Over there. Good, you ran away. That's what that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. That's good. All right. Winter holds. Oh, chili bean. Sorry, I need to call it by its name. Oh, mammoth. A mammoth that's already dead, maybe. I saw the saber cat, I'm just running away. Though I might kill it, just so that I can harvest the mammoth. Are you dead? Mammoth snout. Okay. Don't mind. This feels like it would have been a very dangerous location at like level one. <laughs> Not so bad now. I might be forced to eat my words though. Oh, what's that down there? Some kind of Dwemer ruin? We're getting a little lost, so I may fast travel. Um, but I, I kind of want to make it cross country. I like to do the first journey myself, you know. Why? Why would you? Why would you run straight into the fight? <laughs> that one's dead. Okay. Bandit outlaw. Good, good, good. Jelly bean. Why are you shooting Lydia? What? Oh dear, oh dear. I know what they've fallen out about. <laughs> They're just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna end well. She's invincible, and you're gonna just be summoned in a minute. Okay, let's go up this way. I think. We can go up and around the, the ice mountain. Do I see winter hold in the distance? Oh no, that's a tree. Never mind. Okay, it's come up on the compass now, so. I'm just going to ignore that wolf. Lydia, Lydia will clean it up. Oh, and a bear. Okay, I think I'm going to have to take care of these because there's two of them. Is that winter hold in the distance? Alright, let's 
let's uh, let's do this. Off the cliff with you. Bear actually packs a bit of a punch. Okay, I need to do with potions. And I need my shield. One's dead. Got him. I am on fire, so I might die in the cutscene. Uh, and healing. Okay, next time let's just fast travel. Good stuff. I think we've we've left Lydia long behind. Oh no, she's right there. Handy dandy. <laughs> Sam's shouting in the chat, you're gonna die. Yeah, I spotted my health bar going down just in time. So we've reached Winterhold, and I think that's a really good place to wrap it up. Excuse me, Mr. Goat. To wrap it up uh, before we actually go in there. Um, apparently that you can join the Mages Guild and become like the Archmage with only casting one spell, uh, which I think is quite funny. So me and Lydia are going to... Let's dismount. So me and Lydia are just going to stand around, waiting in the cold, uh, and then we're going to approach the, the college, maybe have a look around the town for a bit, uh, go do some selling, buying, whatever, uh, investigate what we can make. And, uh, and take it from there. So thanks so much uh, for, for watching. If you're watching this on Catch Up as well, thanks for uh, uh, going through it with us. Um, if you feel like subscribing, go ahead and do so. Or you could help me out by leaving a like on the stream. That, that, does, a, that does a lot for our like stats and stuff. And if you want to, you can pop over to our Discord server. You'll find a link on the uh, front page of my channel. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed the bit with Parthenax where it went crazy. Uh, take care. Bye for now.